Hello everyone, this is Subal Omari and today I'm going to talk about the application of titanium dioxide nanoparticles in the photothermal therapy of melanoma cancer. What is melanoma cancer? Melanoma is a serious form of skin cancer that begins in the cell known as melanocytes. While it is common in the basal cell carcinoma, BCC, and squamous cell carcinoma, SCC, which is also a type of skin cancer, as we can see in the figure, melanoma is more dangerous because of its ability to spread to other organs is more rapidly if it's not treated at an early stage. One of the leading causes of death with increasing incidence all over the world is cancer, which can be treated by chemotherapy or by surgery, but unfortunately, it faces the problem of drug resistance and insufficient efficacy of drug delivery into cancer cells. One of the most important revolution of cancer therapy is the nanoparticles, which can fix the problem we said in the previous slide about the efficiency of delivering a drug into cancer cells. The clinical cancer studies have used nano-sized particle in photodynamic therapy, BDT, which is also a two-stage treatment that combines light energy with a drug photosensitizer designed to destroy cancerous and precancerous cells after light activation. BDT generates highly reactive oxygen species that can cause cell rupture. By using light-absorbing photosensitizer, stimulated particles could cause electrons to fluctuate and transfer their charge from one state to another, resulting in active oxygen species. Malignant tumor and abnormal vasculatures have both been treated by using BDT. Photothermal therapy, BTT, is a therapeutic method for inducing hyperthermia in malignant tumor cells by converting photon energy into heat. Due to their unique physiochemical properties, nanoparticles are effective at converting the photon energy of laser light into heat and inducing hyperthermia in malignant tissues. Gold nanoparticles, silver nanoparticles, and carbon nanotubes have all been successful in inducing hyperthermia in tumor tissues. Due to super hydrophilicity, low toxicity, good thermal conductivity, good optical absorption, and chemical and thermal stability in vivo, titanium dioxide nanoparticles could be a great choice for biomedical application as agent in converting photon energy into heat in the PTT method. Titanium dioxide nanoparticles are a good candidate with a specific characteristic for the photothermal therapy of a tumor. Titanium is very friendly, has exceptional probability, such as high refractive index and photocatalytic, and it also has magnetic probability. Such characteristics of titanium stem for the spontaneous formation of an oxide layer in the titanium surface, as well as it can destroy fungi, bacteria, viruses, and cancer cells. Moreover, it can act as an effective catalyzer for treating malignant tumors. Titanium dioxide nanoparticles have been used in biomedical applications such as BDT, drug delivery, cell imaging, biosensors for biological assays, and genetic engineering. In aqueous media, titanium dioxide nanoparticles tend to aggregate and that can cause a problem in biological system. The surface of these nanoparticles should be modified to prevent them from aggregating. Covering nanoparticles with hydrophilic polymers is one of the most common ways to prevent them from aggregating. Polyethylene glycol is one of the best polymers for dealing with this issue. The biocompatibility of nanoparticles would be improved by attaching polyethylene glycol to the surface of the nanoparticles. About methodology, I will start with the preparation and characterization of titanium dioxide polyethylene glycol nanoparticles. Firstly, we will use a 10 to 25 nanometer particles size of titanium dioxide with a purity higher than 99% in an aqueous phase. Then, they were coated with a layer of polyethylene glycol. After that, a microscopic image of the titanium dioxide polyethylene glycol nanoparticles was taken by transmission electron microscope. 
about tumor induction, the melanoma cells at a number of half multiplied by 10 to the power 6 were suspended in 200 microlittle culture medium and injected subcontinuously into loose skin over the mice neck at room temperature and 30% relative humidity. Then they were randomly divided into four equal and dependent groups. Good to know that melanoma is superficial tumor, so its change could be absorbed easily during the treatment. About phototermal therapy of tumors, two weeks after the melanoma tumors had sufficiently grown, approximately one, centim one cubic centimeter, to start the treatment. The tumor size were estimated through the following occasion, tumor volume equal L over 2 multiplied by W squared, where L and W indicated the length and width of the tumor. As a result, the transmission electron microscope image of the polyethylene glycol coated titanium dioxide nanoparticles is shown in the figure. As a result, on the surface of the titanium dioxide nanoparticles, a continuous layer of polyethylene glycol within an average thickness of few nanometers was formed. The treatment started according to the four groups. Group 1, titanium dioxide plus laser. Group 2, laser therapy. Group 3, titanium dioxide nanoparticles. Group 4, control with no treatment. Group 1 and 2 were irradiated by a continuous wave. Three days after laser excitation, the tumor size were measured. The tumor size of different groups were analyzed before and three days after PTT treatment, and the result shows significant difference between the group, as we see. Decrease in tumor volume in titanium dioxide plus laser is obvious. The average tumor volume in the control titanium dioxide nanoparticle groups increased. The tumor size in the laser therapy group were not significantly different during the treatment, but the tumors case to grow further. In the right side of the slide, we can see what happens. After three months to follow up in the titanium dioxide plus laser cases treated by the BTT, A is before, B is three days, C is three months after the treatment, respectively. The arrow indicates the change in the hair color in the tumor site after three months. There was no evidence of melanoma cancer in titanium dioxide plus laser cases after three months of follow-up. The findings indicate that the titanium dioxide plus laser group not only did the tumor regress to case, but the tumor size is also shrunk. Study confirmed that such nanoparticles have a relatively high efficacy in destroying solid tumors without causing any cancer cell symptoms in treated cases. As a result, Titanium dioxide polyethylene glycol nanoparticles could be used in the BTT mechanic as a potent low toxicity agent.